you know. What is going on folks so this video came to me by a lot of you that were in my last chats a minute ago and we were talking about different things y'all talking about videos of things like they showed like uh white folks kissing black folks feet or whatever like that and then this one that somebody said i didn't want the one with black white folks kissing black folks feet um that was just correct but the one that's about to be shown right now is labeled something else it says white people kneel ask forgiveness from the black community in the third war so i'm gonna watch this real quick and let's see what this is about and i'm gonna get my thoughts on it because y'all know that i'm unbiased and my unbiasedness come from my father above which is god heaven jesus yes i know folks i'm like oh you heard it? no 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 you talking about a white jesus don't even go there i know what leads me i know who who's over me i know who gives me my knowledge and my wisdom i know this okay so anyway without any further ado folks i'm just letting you know that this the reason why i say all that because i'm completely unbiased until I watch the video and I will give my take on it, okay? You sent it to me. You want to know what my thoughts is on it? And I'm going to get my thoughts on it, okay? What makes me special? Nothing. But apparently somebody wants to hear what I have to say about it because I always go into a situation with these things they send me with just straight being real, to the point, not being hateful or nothing like that. So anyway, without further ado, folks, this is called White People Kneel as Forgiveness from the Black Community in the Third Ward. So here we go. We know he's being guided. He's no longer to be here. We're not shaming anybody, God. We're just humbling ourselves before you. Yes, Lord. You brought the thunder and rain today, God. Because Satan takes an L today. Father, in Jesus' name, you get the victory. Father, we ask for forgiveness from our black brothers and sisters for years and years of racism, of systematic racism. Didn't get to watch that whole thing, but that was really kind of disturbing. Really, really, really disturbing. First of all, oh, you, let me tell y'all something. Y'all pretty much know what racist is, don't y'all? Racist is somebody who feels that they, you know, racism is like a thing where, let's just say a racist period. It's like a person who feel like somebody is like discriminated against them or is prejudiced against them but based on their race. Or like their belief, or not, not, not belief. Let me just say this. Let me slow down. A racist is a person who might feel discrimination or prejudice based off of their skin color or race. Okay, but then also there is a second part to that. What a racist is. It says that a racist is a particular race who feels that they are superior to another race. So if you feel that you are superior to another race. That can also make you racist, okay? And what I just seen right here was, I got to be honest with you, coming from the church Christian world, that was real disturbing to see. And you might sit there and ask me why, and I will tell you why. You are bowing down, bowing down in front of another race, then you sat there and said, we humble ourselves before. No, you humble. You said you might have said with your mouth, you humble yourself before God. You bow down in front of another race. It almost appears that that is racist within itself. And what I mean by that, when I say racist can also be somebody who feels that they are, their race is superior to another one. You inadvertently show that yours is inferior to the black race by sitting there and bowing yourself down to it. And at the same time, last time I checked, when are you supposed to bow down to any man? When do you bow down to any man? They did this in the Bible. I'm talking, okay, ministers, y'all know this. What happened when they tried to bow down before the apostles, disciples? They told them, I stand up. I'm merely just a man, didn't they? So I don't know if those black people right there were Christian or whatever like that. But to sit there and allow somebody to bow down before you and then you apologize on behalf of white people saying we're sorry. What are what, what, you almost like making it seem like that what you just did right there, like it actually is a real legit thing. That there is this huge thing of all white people out to get black people and it's not. 
Absolutely not. That is absolutely unacceptable. And uh, to be quite honest with you, if that was me attending that particular church, me, I probably would not be going there no more because that just, man, you just took a lot of stuff out. I mean, to me, I, I get it. I get it. You're there praying. You're there praying with them. But look what your actions is showing. You are bowing down in front of a race and had your congregation doing it as well. Bowing down. Bowing down to another race. You could have easily sat up there and just still face to face those people, shake their hands saying, hey, I want to do a thing where we can all get together and discuss this thing. Share with us the, the heartaches that you guys felt. Share with us the, the anger that you feel. Share with us the things that's been done wrong to you, anything like that. But to sit there and act like you representing all white people, all white ministers and bowing down before some black folks and apologizing on behalf of them. I hope some of them actually call you out on that because if I was white, I'm black and it don't even matter because, you know, better yet, forget the white and black thing when it comes to that. As a minister, a minister of God, knowing how is God looking at that, that you bowing down before a mere man, woman race, you're bowing down to them. How do you think our savior sees that? How do you think he sees that? What type of message do you think that is pushing off to the rest of your congregation? I tell you what, as far as me, there's only one that runs my life. There's only one who I will humble myself before. There is only one I will bow before. You said it in your word. What I'm talking about, the minister up there, I know you might have preached this message before. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. I'm so confused on why you are bound down. I seen a Bible in somebody here. Y'all all got your hands out like that. It literally looked like worship. It completely looked like worship, like something. I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all something out of the movie. Uh, what was it? Justice League, how they worshiped Superman as a god. And it was even part of the thing. All those people had their hands out reaching up to him. And he's just looking around like. Be their angel. Be their monument. And don't get me wrong. The black folks sitting there crying. You, that's not going to fix anything. Yeah, that might have been like a nice little gesture, but do I mean to have somebody? I don't care who you are. Don't air, don't don't bow before me. Don't feel like you owe me anything. That almost like something you just giving like, well, that's why I can't do nothing with my life. That's why I can't get ahead in life. Look at this. This showing proof right here that the white people are wrong. And I tell you what, y'all gonna do right now as well. Y'all definitely giving a whole lot of fire fuel. Y'all giving jet fuel to Muslim folks. A lot of Muslim people that I know, y'all definitely giving them some fuel. Bowing down like that. See, we told you, look at that. We said that white man is going to bow down before the black man. Boy, this is wrong on so many levels. This is absolutely, <laughs> this is absolutely wrong on so many levels. This is not going to fix anything. That is not going to help anything. Bowing before another race by making it seem like you are inferior to that race, therefore making that race superior, in which we know that also part of the word racist is that a particular race is superior to another one, which means you didn't even know that you almost, you pretty much made the black race racist. How? You bow before them, making yourself appear with the message you push there, inferior to them, making them appear superior. Which means if they are superior, you can begin to make them think that they are superior, which means will make them racist in turn. Same exact thing goes along when people say black lives matter. But then if somebody says if a white person says all life matters and a black person, you get upset and mad at that, especially if you're a minister. You should not dare get mad at any person that says all life matters if you are really in Christ. Well, no, it ain't that it ain't that it just that right. No, no, no. It ain't no right now. Does Christ love sometimes all the time? Does, does, is Christ for everyone or someone? Is Christ only for a certain race during a certain period of time and then he's back to being with all races or is he not? This gesture was completely, completely inappropriate to me. Absolutely, completely inappropriate. But again, I know that you might have done this out of ignorance. I know you might have done it out of thinking that you was doing a great thing. I know you think that doing things like this may be like a powerful moment, a powerful a picture, a powerful this. It's not going to change anybody. It's the same thing that goes within on within the religious world. And I've been a part of this. Thank the Lord I've been through all this hell and high water through religious, sanctimonious, crazy stuff that I've learned from this. Thank you, Lord, for the lessons you taught me through this stuff. Because guess what? I've been around tons of preaching, tons of teaching where they might have done some powerful demonstrations or they've done some wonderful, oh, that was a good, powerful demonstration. 
but it didn't change nobody. It didn't save nobody at all. And this right here, though it may look like a cool look act, like I, this look like the same type of thing that would go on inside of a church. They had one Nita Bynum one time bow before T.D. Jakes offered her his shoes. And people, oh my God, it's such a powerful. That didn't save nobody. That didn't change nobody. It didn't change nobody's life. They went home dealing with the same issues they were dealing with. When you guys get done doing what you're doing right now, I don't know when this video was, but those same black folks are going to go back home with the same issues they've been facing on an individual level, not on a whole race level thing. Me looking at this, I'm offended by it that you would sit there and bow before a race. Just like I'll be just as ticked off if I seen some black folks bowing before some white folks. If I seen some Asian folks bowing before white people, Asian folks bowing before black people. The whole point of bowing. That is absolutely crazy. Then it's almost like you are sitting there acknowledging that your whole church congregation is racist. Are you are you not getting that? Why would you apologize for something that you did not do? I understand your forefathers and all that stuff like that. That was your forefathers. You didn't do it. Why are you apologizing for some people that has probably turned to carbon by now in their graves? You didn't do it. Your forefathers did it. Why would you be apologizing for them? Racism is not something that is hereditary. Racism is something that is taught. Plain and simple. Just like hatred is taught. Plain and simple. We all have, some people got dogs, some people got cats. You think there's a dog that is a racist dog? No, that dog does not see color or anything like that. That dog just obeys the person that's taking care of them or their master or whatever like that. Don't see any of that. But yet, here we are in the year 2020, and you telling me we're still dealing with racism. No, we're not. What we're dealing with is flat out pure evil that's being displayed in front of our face that nobody wants to confront it for what it is, which is evil. Plain and simple evil and by anybody wanting to step into this thing want to blame this race or blame that race why don't you blame the force that's behind driving these issues because when you find out what the force is it has nothing to do with color it has everything to do with evil and if you know who or what evil is then that's what you need to be going after apologizing for something you did not do is absolutely ridiculous I, as a black man, will not apologize for 75% of black men who are not in their children's lives. Why would I apologize for them? Why would I? Can anybody answer me that? I didn't do it. Yes. You get that? Y'all know the statistics? 75% of all black people come from most likely a single parent home where they're with their mom or they're with their grandma, but daddy is out of the picture. Why would I sit there and bow before my sons telling them, although I'm in their life, I apologize that my father wasn't in my life. I apologize that 75% of black men are not in their children's life. So I want to offer y'all my humble and deepest apology for all other black men that are not in their children's life. Are you crazy? Absolutely crazy. I will not apologize to any Asian, white or black person for Christ that I follow. I won't apologize to any black, white, or Asian person if anybody thinks that I'm going to bow before any other race because of something that my race did. Black people make up a small percentage of the race, but are responsible for over half of the crimes. As a black man, I will not apologize for those criminals. Why would I? That don't make sense, do it? But yet you will apologize as a white person for the criminals that had the whole enslavement thing going on. Your forefathers, you didn't do it. They did it. Most of the prisons are filled with black men. Why would I be apologizing to all white folks and all black folks saying I'm sorry about people that look like me and is a man for committing over half of the crimes and feeling the most people are that are in prison? Why would I apologize for their crimes? Why would I apologize for black on black crime when I didn't do it? I got cousins that's known to have killed people. Why would I apologize for them just because I'm related to them? Why would I? 
Why would I bow down before white people and say, I'm so sorry, white people, although are my black counter, my black people make up a small margin of the uh, population and we're responsible over half the crimes. I'm so sorry to you guys. Are you kidding me? This right here, though it may have been with a good heart, this was absolutely foul. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, well, this is what the Lord going to do to you. But what I am going to tell you to do, you might want to seek after him a little bit more for his wisdom. You might want to ask him how he will feel about you doing such motions like that without consulting him first and seeing how he felt about it. Because I can guarantee you this, according to his word, and he says, I'm God, I change not. You're supposed to bow before no man. You don't know Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? They was about to be thrown in the fur furnace. They weren't about to bow. As a minister myself, this is something that I never thought I would see, especially coming from those of us that's supposed to be a light to the world, those of us that's supposed to show people the good news, those of us that are not supposed to see color, those of us that's not supposed to be in this thing where people are ranked but you know what maybe i should expect it because i know the hierarchy goes on inside the religious realm you go inside the church you're gonna see people just want titles so they can when they get these titles it gives them a sense of power so they can feel like they are superior over others it goes on in the church world so then again maybe i am seeing this thing for exactly what it is thank god that there's people out there that's coming forth that shine in light on this stuff because of one man's death, which is George Floyd, and all this stuff just turmoiled out of control from rioters to looters to thieves to pimp pastors and all this stuff like that. It's exposing all kinds of things. And this is just another one of those elements that it is. I do not dislike y'all, the people, the black folks that was in this video. I don't dislike the white people was in this video. But to me, from both sides, y'all should have done better than this. The black folks just sitting there crying. Oh, look at this. Like, hmm. it shows that they know what they do to us. And all. they didn't do that. Whoever has been racist against me in my life, I blame that individual. That individual at that time. If I find out that his parents have been teaching him that way to be like that, then I'm going to blame his, him and his parents for being like that. But for somebody that's never offended me, and done anything like that to me whatsoever, why in the world would I even think to do that? Why would I even accept an apology from a race of people that has not done anything personally to me or even my race? Folks, the way this thing works is like this. I'm paraphrasing it. If you get a person, if you convince a person to get them to believe it i'm no i'm so my mind is so all over the place i can't even get it right. it's not it's like y'all go like okay we're gonna call them on that but anyway it's easy to trick and convince a person that it is to convince them that they've been tricked this same notion goes on like this i said it in my other video you have been played and folks are running right on into this to now all of a sudden we the light they're supposed to be the light of God. We're coming forth and we're bowing down before man and apologizing on behalf of a race when there's only one person, one person that died for every last one of us. There remained no more sacrifices. If you felt that you've done something wrong to another person, it says you go to them. You go to them. If you done something wrong, if my brothers or my sisters have done something wrong to a race of people, I will not apologize on behalf of my brothers and my sisters. It says, if you've wronged somebody, you go to them. This is completely off. I'm sorry. This is completely wrong. Whoever this pastor is in this video, I would love to sit there and ask him and talk with him and pick his brain on what made him do this. I would love to know what his thinking was when he did this. But in my eyes, that is completely, completely, completely inappropriate. And it's almost like a complete, I don't want to say smack in the face, but kind of sort of metaphorically speaking, a smack in the face to God to be sitting there bowing before 
another race, making yourself inferior to them. That is absolutely crazy. We are all brothers and sisters in this whole thing. We're all in Christ's kingdom. There ain't no hierarchies. Plain and simple. There is none. I would love to hear what a lot of you guys got to say about this, especially some ministers. Because I know there's going to be different perspectives. People ain't going to see it my way, but I'm seeing it from the way that he said it. And I'm just telling you, when it comes to the bowing part, that's crazy. I don't care what you, I, I'll try to see what y'all might say about it. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm going to take in what y'all say. I'm going to read what you guys say. But right now, this is going to be a hard one to convince me of any other way you can say it. Well, no, actually what this means, brother, is I like to hear it. Everybody else, y'all know what to do. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm getting ready to check out. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. And before I do check out, don't forget, somewhere around here, you might see a little red thingy where you could have subscribed to. If you've been following me for a while and have not subscribed, be sure to do that. And giving this video a thumbs up so it can be circulated around the whole world. I definitely would like to see some other people. I, want, I would like to see other ministers circulate this video. If you give this video a thumbs up, it allows the video to be completely circulated and put in YouTube's recommended and algorithm. That way, other people can see it as well. Because I would like to know what other ministers, people of the sort, think of this. And... um. That's all I got on this one. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. And I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you through Jesus. I'm a survivor. Right here is most likely the next video that you're going to go to. If you are watching the premiere, this is going to lead you to the next reaction video. This one right here is most likely going to be the video you're going to watch that has stuff to do with me and my comedy stuff, different things that I do, all right?